Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my show Future Friday. In today's we're gonna take a look at yet another thing from Elon Musk, the Tesla solar roof. Is it practical or is it just BS? So let's dive right into it. So what's the idea? The idea is very simple. They're gonna use solar shingles and couple it with Tesla Powerwall and they're gonna give you off-grid home. So Tesla Powerwall is at currently at second gen and they, as of now, they have four uh, tiles selection that you can choose. So the idea of solar singles compared to solar panels is panel is very simply, it's added on to your roof. So let's say you have a roof and you just add on to it. Now shingles replace those roof tiles. So whatever tiles you, you could have uh, uh, like, you know, so, uh, soil, slate, glass, things of like that nature, you can simply replace them and replace them with this. And benefit of that is if you look from top down, you can see the cells. But if you look from like how you're gonna look from the you know road or things like that, because of the angle, you cannot see that these are solar cells. So that's the whole idea, stealth, solar in stealth mode. So what is their target audience? Now their target audience are off grid homes, like homes that are uh, out of middle of nowhere and those people who are interested in self-generation and this part now these both things uh, generally are don't make that much sense but if you have a bad grid scenario it does make a lot of sense like for instance let's say you invested in the system it's too expensive you got the system done you are making uh, you know making electricity you have to store it any battery bank including tesla power walls are not cheap that goes upwards of six thousand dollars so you have to do that and then let's say the only benefit you are getting is that you are not spending money on your electricity bill now assuming if you have a scenario where your electricity grid is unstable like uh, how it is in india this sort of system starts to make a lot more sense because uh, and you might be saying like okay but uh, can't i buy inverters inverter won't work for whole day just recently uh, my home was experiencing six to eight hours of power cut so suffice to say if we had a source of energy at that time Generators are not feasible for long-term use and uh, for this reason solar makes a lot of sense. So their target audience you have to understand. People who want to be self-reliant, basically they are like I don't want to pay to someone else. People who have no other choice, basically like you know out of nowhere, basically like let's say you have a home, uh, you know your traditional land, it's like you know out in the mountains. So in those sort of scenario it does make a lot of sense. So if you have a bad grid it also makes a lot of sense. So there is a catch to the system, like it's not all well and good. If it was, everybody would be taking loan instead of getting a car. They will be like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna install a solar system and we just gonna be, you know, cost neutral after a while. You have to know, solar home is not cost effective in any sense, in any regard. Solar cells take a lot of time to, you know, pay you back in terms of electricity and electricity uh, has a cost that fluctuates. So let's say if your oil price is going up, your cost of uh, electricity will also go up. You might say we are using coal, okay, but coal is also a depleting resource, so your cost will go up. However, let's say you found a new source of coal, a new mine is opened up, cost will go down. Now, will this translate to your power uh, bill? Sometimes it does, sometimes it does not. So be mindful of this. And it needs power uh, company's permission. So let's say whatever power plant you have, it has to green light the system. Now this part you have to understand, you can't connect a system that sends power back so if you have a system that is like okay it's there is solar panel it's i'm gonna charge the battery i'm gonna run the home and then once my uh, you know system starts to overproduce i'm just gonna disconnect it yes in that scenario you don't need power uh, you know power companies but generally people don't do that people try to sell that electricity now that is why i'm saying you if you were even thinking of connecting those system or selling it you need power companies uh, permission and they they are not uh, being a dick about it they actually need to make sure that your system can handle uh, the fluctuations that's going to happen and their grid can actually accept it grid can accept power anyway like coming in or going it does not matter to the grid but if there is no uh, structure in place in the grid like you know energy storage systems or like you know uh, thermoresters there are a lot of systems that we employ to make sure the grid is stable if they don't have the system they will flat out say no don't connect your solar generators to ours 
grid. So you have to be mindful. You can't just put it on that and you can go to jail because this is compromising national grid and all the national grids are connected to each other. So if you mess up one, there could be a catastrophic chain reaction. You have to be mindful. You have to get permission from your power company. Second, it needs government intervention. The whole reason this thing even became viable is like government wanted to test out some initiative and they started giving large tax breaks. So be mindful, like first you need some external input, like whether your power company will lie. Second, you have to rely on your government and government is kind of known, like of course not every country's government is flux, uh, you know, as uh, fluctuating as my country and you may have a government that you know can keep its promise for 30, 40 years. You may have otherwise. So suffice to say there are a lot of catches to the system. Now we come to the bullshit part, like I cannot believe like flat out Bloomberg came and flat out said it will be cheaper than normal roof. I'm like, what? Did this whole planet lost its mind? Like a thing that is more complex to make, a thing that is uh, has electrical circuits in it, including heaters, which I like the idea that these have electric heaters. Not all of them, but some of them do. So if you have snowing, it can heat it up and uh, melt the snow. How they have in their Tesla car, basically. So it's a, it's a kind of good idea. But cost-wise, I'm gonna provide a lot of link in down below why solar uh, off-grid system does not work unless you are only relying on that or you have a very bad power connection. Please uh, look into those data points that I'm gonna provide in the link below. There are a lot of data, but point is very simple. It does not pay off. The electricity is not that expensive, so you have to make a lot or you have to like have a system where a company generally pay you the same amount per kilowatt which they don't so for instance in australia let's say you buy one kilowatt it could cost upwards of 15 cents but if you are selling like your solar cells are over generating and you're like i'm gonna sell it they might only give you two cents or five cents so be mindful that's why i said there are a lot of catches to the system there is no way a solar system that is that small small as in like five kilowatt ten kilowatt system is gonna be cost effective it needs power wall. Like power wall is a very expensive device. Now, uh, cost, let's say, uh, narrow it down to $6,000. It's $5,800, but price has gone up, uh, you know, in last year. So suffice to say, it will go up again. And installation cost, I'm getting mixed details. Somebody is saying it's $500 to somebody is saying it's $2,000. So suffice to say, it's not cheap. Power wall is not cheap. However, I do like the idea of Powerwall given the fact that they give you 10 year warranty and that's on capacity. So it's not like, okay, it's gonna work for 10 years. It's like it's gonna have retain 70% of its power. So that's a good thing. And to understand this, why I'm saying it's a uh, bullshit is simply form over function. They are like, do you want that or do you want this? Now it looks good undeniably, but this is not only cheaper, which will in turn allow you to recover your investment quickly and if something goes wrong it's much easier to recover this you can't sell like if you are trying to sell this to some other one they have to agree to the power co uh, company's uh, you know demands because they do put a demand on you and sometimes these things are built on lease because they are so expensive so this thing you can actually take it off and you know resell it or just put it in your new home but this will be permanently tied down to the home so this is the reason it's not a practical solution However, to the credit of Elon Musk, he flat out said it's like, you know, keeping up with the Joneses kind of attitude and it, people are not going to invest a lot of money in this because I, I, one guy who actually guard the system and I would encourage him to watch the video or don't watch the video, it doesn't make it, but read the comments and all the money or the finances that was needed and he explains that I spent this much money and this was everybody is saying the same thing. It's way too damn expensive. Like your electricity bill for 15 years will not pile up to that much. And as of raw cost, raw capital investment you want to do, it's uh, for $40,000 of electricity, you are spending $40,000 uh, in your roof tile. So suffice to say, if the only thing that matters to you is the looks, go for it. Be mindful, it's also not available everywhere. So your mileage may vary. So this was my presentation of solar uh, roof tiles i hope you liked it or learned from it in that case please like if you didn't dislike leave a comment and as always subscribe press the bell icon i make video every day and as always thanks for watching